How's it going everybody? Welcome back to some more Stone Hearth. Now it's been just a few days since we played this and I've been having an itch to play it so I'm pretty happy to get back onto it guys. But like always, thank you so much for the love and support that we've been getting non-stop. It's been kind of outrageous. Like, it's unbelievable. Today is Sunday, December 13th. And on... Which day was it? On Monday the 7th, I had 857 subscribers, and we are nearly at 930. Like, that's a massive jump. That's over 50. That's a little. Oh my god. That's over 50 subs in a week. Like, I was getting that before. Like, I'd get like 20 to 30 subs a day, but then I kind of stopped my main focus on B Castle, and now. I'm still uploading it, I'm just spacing it out more, where I'm playing more of the games that I'm enjoying and all that, and it's kind of ridiculous how much, like, don't want to say how much positivity and all that, but like how much love and support we've been getting, even with those main games being kind of halted a little bit, but guys, thank you so much for love and support, like always, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all the best of down below, if you want to support me even farther, there's a PayPal link in the description, want to join the community, there's a Discord as well, sorry I hiccuped, um, I did just take my pills, so, you know, hopefully I don't get, like, motion sickness or whatever. I've been trying to play Slime Ranchers for you guys, uh, because that's a game I know a, a lot of you guys are enjoying, but it's giving me really bad motion sickness with my pills, so uh, that's one thing I can't really do right now, so I apologize to you guys. But let's just continue playing this game here, Stone Earth, and hopefully everything will get kind of situated and put up and, you know, this house will get completed. Because I would really appreciate this home getting done as soon as possible. It looks like the ground floor is completed entirely. Um, I don't know about the windows. It looks like all the windows are done. There's only front windows and then a couple sides. Mainly it looks like we're just trying to put the doors down. So whenever we get... Oh, let's not hit that button. Whenever we get to it. So we got six, vent, six posts to make two doors. And I'm pretty sure we're done that entire house, which would be fantastic. Now, we do have a list of people that want to join our community. So let's go ahead and open that list real quick and accept this person. Now, we want to get... Who was it? Somebody on here wanted to be a male, but I think I deleted the... I think I accidentally deleted it. So I'm going to have to figure out all over again what somebody's going to be. So let's go ahead and... Get this person here. I'm going to always remove the eyebrows because they kind of float. And we're going to make this person... I don't know if I have Google Specs. I don't. Okay. We're going to have Google Specs go on here. Alright. So Google Spec is now a part of our community. There we go. And then I'm going to do my best to open up on the side of my computer here. So hopefully the game still runs and you guys can watch that while I do this. Right? Oh my god, we literally were just at 922 subs and we just went up to 927. That's massive. That's ridiculous. But what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the comments on my videos. So you can see who wants to be in the game. So here we go. So Lucas Vendor Vendoros wants to be one. Dream Shade wants to be one. That's who I was thinking of. They want to be a male. Um, we got Get Good Gaming 22 who wants a person named Aiden. So there we go. We got a couple names right there that we can add into it. Now you have... Oh, did it not name him? It didn't. Okay. Let's go ahead and do Google Spec all over again because he was already this guy so I don't want to just change it. I try to spell it the exact same way that everybody's named, like that they want their name to be. We have ourselves a courageous featherweight, which is actually quite nice. Because <sighs> we could use him to most likely be like one of our knights or one of our guards or an archer or something like that. Featherweight would be sweet for an archer because then they'd be really fast. So I don't think that that's too bad of an idea. They're over there focusing on this house now. I want them to finish this one up. Yeah, so they just need to do a couple more items. I don't know where... Oh, wait, are we out of wood? Ah, we're out of wood, that's why, okay. Alright, alright, I, I see now, I see. 
I like the idea of having some trees behind this place, so go ahead and get rid of this. Maybe do a layer. There we go. Um, I like the idea of having some trees over here as well. Maybe cut out this these trees back here. And what we can do is we can put a herbalist house back there and have a little path go around. I think that would be pretty cool. It's definitely going to help us out. The game is sped up. Okay, good. I was like, oh no, the game seems so slow, but it's fine. Now, I need... What are you guys doing? Stacy and Hugo are just chilling. Alright, you guys, you do you, I guess. I feel bad for Andrew still because I made Andrew a female, but you know what? Oh well. <sighs> I feel like when I'm making a Let's Play for you guys, I really want it to be... You know, decent quality so you guys can enjoy the game and all that stuff. And you can, like, just relax and chat. But with me constantly yawning, I don't feel like that's a proper, you know, thing to have for a Let's Play. Like, I don't feel like that's something that I should allow. But going through all the editing of cutting that out is just going to have too many cut clips. And it's not really worth it. So I kind of keep it in. So I feel bad for when it does that. But I'm wide awake. I've been awake since 6 a.m. And it's 8.34. So... I don't know why I'm yawning as much as I am, but I'm going to go ahead and drink some water and uh, hopefully that wakes me up. And this is a quite nice day out also. I've been really debating on going fishing even though it's December 13th. I'm, <laughs> I keep looking outside and I'm like, oh man, I really want to fish, but I really shouldn't go fishing because... That would just be such a, like, not really a dumb idea, but that would be such a bad idea. Can I harvest this? I can. Sweet. So we can get rid of some of these blocks on the ground. I don't like them there. And our people are building this. I want them to focus on this so we can get everything kind of situated. Um, that'd be really cool, but it doesn't seem like anybody really wants to focus on it. They are bringing stuff up now, which is awesome. So hopefully that gets done soon. All we need now is... One door, one pillar, and two pieces of fencing. So we have four things that we have to do, I think. Then we're done. She just did something over there, so maybe, maybe there's something else we have to do. Now, three wooden doors, and we'll get four bone comfy wooden chairs. I'm going to actually accept that because that sounds pretty decent. Um, everything here. Oh, that's for the new house. Okay, I was like, what the heck is all that? All right. A uh, wooden door. It wants three of them. So we'll have that be crafted. Actually, you know what? We're going to remove that. We're going to craft four. Because I bet you I'm going to have to make an extra one. Just in case. There we go. Just throw this all the way up here. Voila. Accept that this should be done soon just gonna focus on that this is completed now I think we have the door there we have the railings <sighs> yeah, I think we're good like what I said why am I yawning it is a side effect for my pills as well so maybe that's why maybe I need to just like you know do something other than sitting on a computer, recording a video game, maybe work out a little bit, trying to wake my body up. Um, yeah, for those that don't know, uh, I have really bad depression, so I take pills for it. And uh, I was off my pills because I thought it was a good idea. I thought I was better. And I got hit pretty hard last week. And um, let's just say it wasn't good. So I had to go to the doctors and... He was like, no, no. He's like, these are things you have to be on for your life. So that's such a devastating thing to hear. But I know my family also struggles with this kind of thing. So it's kind of okay, I guess. It just sucks because, you know, I'm trying to stay positive and all that fun stuff. But it, it can be really hard sometimes. So we're going to go ahead and name this person here. The person that wants to be a male. All right dream i'd prefer to be a 
Name one after me, please. Also, Daniel, I prefer to be a boy. I don't have a gender pref preference, though. All right, Dream Shade 1015. Dream Shade 1015, welcome to the squad. I think you have a little bunny partner. You do. Bunny partner named Tails. That is so cute. Uh, Juniper Logs. I feel like it'd be nice to actually buy some, but we don't really have anything to sell. The reason I want to buy some. Oh my god, they're 10 gold each. Never mind. What the heck? Get out of here. Welcome to Luke Goblin, Dream Shade. You're actually really cute, which is fantastic. Um, you are a decent fighter as well. That sounds great. Attributes. Should really look at what some of this stuff does, because. Health regen is low, so. Oh, it's because he's soaked, though. Huh. Because I've never actually paid it to... Let's look at Hugo, because this is our, our fighter here. Not change job, my bad. Um, let's look at Hugo here, and look at his attributes, because I've never looked at this stuff before. His muscle. Every 10 muscle increases weapon damage, so he does 5 extra weapon damage. Now, if I click on other people, it auto-changes. It does. Who has the most muscle? Okay, Hugo. Yep, you swole AF. Wow. Oh, that's because you're a little featherweight. Okay. So Hugo and Dream are going to be our two fighters because they have the highest muscle, which is nice. The rain's kind of what's making them a little bit unhappy. Oh god. Why can't you? Are you stuck? Oh my god, you're stuck. That's why. How on earth did you get back here? How do I make the ladder again? I'm trying to figure it out. Right there. Let's do that just in case. I feel like we're. <clears throat> Hopefully gonna be okay on food. Um, doesn't seem like we're gonna do too bad. Now one thing my buddy Hugo did show me. Whoa! Decorative flowers, that's cool. One thing my buddy Hugo did show me is how to properly set this up now. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I need to... That food's in the way. No, don't do this. Remove. This one piece of food's right in the way. That's kind of annoying. There we go. But right, really, that's it? No, remove. There we go. There we go. Now, with turnips here, so this is going to be carrots. Check. This is going to be turnips. Check. Again, carrots. We're going to make our farm a lot bigger. This is what people were kind of telling me about. It wasn't just Hugo, but a lot of people were telling me on how to do this. And I was a little bit confused. But I kind of figured it out because Hugo sent me a video. Uh, sounds kind of weird, but it's, that's just how it is, I guess. Um, I don't know like if these are all properly done now. But I'm guessing they are, hopefully. So we're just going to have to keep going. There we go. It's going to give her a little bit more work to do, but it's also going to give us more food. The reason they're telling me to do it in strips like this is because when you do a basic farm out like this, it, it leaves a gap in the middle, as you see right here, for no apparent reason. And doing this gets rid of that gap. So it allows you to get more food and allows your characters to move pretty much qu a lot quicker. So there we go. Hopefully that's going to help us out. So this one up here I could really remove once it gets done. And then we can kind of figure out some stuff to do from the, like some stuff to go from there. Now I would like to do like a, maybe a little flower garden here. Some blight bells. Some more blight bells. And we'll just go to here. And then we'll do some frost snaps. Some frost snaps. And I think this one here is a blight bell. Yep. So you can go off frost snaps again. I like, I don't know if this is a mod or just an update that happened with the game, but I love the fact that you're able to have these now. Like different, like ones for bushes, 
One's for flowers, some for food. Like, I think that's really cool. Simple things kind of, like, make me a very happy person. But I just realized that that got completed. So, heck yeah. Now, what we can do is we can actually pick up most of the beds. And we could try to move some of these beds upstairs in this house here. She is sleeping on this one. Andrew is. So I'm guessing we're out of beds for everybody. Like of the comfort store. I, I really followed it. This is a sleepy video. Like I'm not even tired. That's the worst part. Like I'm genuinely not even tired. I just keep yawning and I can't stop yawning. So it kind of bothers me. So Dream, you are going to be a warrior Hugo my guy you're also going to be a warrior or a little footman so welcome to the squad should now be able to pick up some of the gear I hope that's already made I think there's a shield there yep there is perfect so you're gonna have the same amount of gear as him and you guys are gonna be happily strolling along this guy literally looks like the character I always make myself I should have named one me like I would have named dream shades character me but I won't because that's Dream Shade. He literally looks perfect. He looks like how I would be. Maybe the next person that we get, I'll go ahead and name myself. Who knows? All right. But let's get these guys to stop doing their duties. And they're just going to haul. Kind of carry some stuff around. Because there's no reason for them not to. Especially since they're kind of guarding nothing right now. So that's pretty good. But guys, this is Stonehearth. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. All that fun stuff down below. It really, really helps me out. I'm on that road to... 1,000 subscribers, which is just mad. But like always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.